You know, my Hebrew Israelite brother, and I, I, I just want you to think about something for me. I'm just, I'm not trying to dog you. I'm not trying to, you know, be whatever. I, I just want you to think about something. You said here that black is not a nationality. God gave all nations their inheritance. What's your bloodline? Uh, what's your bloodline is more important than your description. All black people, not the same race, understand that. First thing. I want you to, I want you to do me a favor. I know that for you, your history belong, but your history begins with your Bible, with the Genesis story. But when you look at archaeology, how can you then say your history belong, begins with the Genesis story? The Genesis story is much shorter than archaeology. Your Genesis story, when you count back the days of who begat, who begat, who begat, and who begat, and who begat, and look at the number of years that they lived and what year that they some this person was begetting, Adam is not born until 6,634 years ago. Okay? Sorry for the interruption. But Adam wasn't born until he, he's 6,600 something, years, something years ago. That's when you get Adam. All right? We know that... The Sumerian civilization was around eight, nine thousand years ago. So was the Kemetic civilization eight, nine thousand years ago. We know that Gobekli Tepe is at least twelve thousand years ago. We know that whoever actually built the pyramids and the Sphinx was about thirty to forty, thirty thousand years ago, thirty to forty thousand years ago. We know that Adam's calendar is about two hundred thousand years old. So there has been human civilizations around longer than the time frame that your Adam could have been born. Now, if you're saying that your people were a people that came out of all the other people and started a new people and you're claiming that for your nationality and your Bible starts then, okay, fine. But it's that whole in the beginning thing that kind of throws it off a little bit. And you're saying your nationality is more important than your bloodline. Nationality is a man-made thing just like race. Both race and nationalities are both man-made. You can claim a nationality. Did you know? Let me give you an example. You can claim a nationality. Prior to um, the Manepta Stele, which is around 1200 BCE, you don't have any mentionings of any Israelites in archaeology. No such thing as an Israelite. It is only then, and they're being mentioned as being conquered by a Kemetic pharaoh, an Egyptian pharaoh. So before that, you have nothing of an Israelite. Prior to that. Now, where you could possibly have gotten your Israelites is from Ramosis, who was a worshiper of the Akhten during the reign of Akhenaten in around 1400 BCE. Now, once Tutankhamun took over and Akhenaten was casted out, Ramosis, who was supposed to be buried in Kemet, decided to get on a boat and fight against, uh, against Tutankhamun's forces on the Red Sea. And then after the battle was over, they fled into the Sinai Peninsula and then fled into the Levant. They became these hillside people. It is very reasonable and possible that those worshipers of the Octen over the next 200 plus years began to integrate themselves with the Canaanites and the Assyrians and everybody else who was in that region, which is why they would have changed it from the Octen to Yahweh. And then to, and so on and so forth, and then develop into these Israelite people who was worshiping Yahweh. And remember back then they got kind of convoluted with the Canaanites. And so they was worshiping Yahweh and his Asherah, his wife, Asherah, which is in 500 BCE when Hezekiah decided to change and re-edit the Bible. He got rid of Asherah and just turned her into a pole. But ancient Israelite temples demonstrate that they worship Asherah as well as Yahweh and worship Asherah as his wife. So <sighs> where you say nationality is more important than bloodline, I disagree. Everybody, every black person is not the same race. The way we solidify race in this country, in this world, the most of the world will say yes, but I actually agree with you on that one. Not everybody who has a black parent or a little bit of black in them is black. No, it's whatever the majority of your genome is, is how I would look at it. But at the end of the day, there is no such thing as race anyway. <laughs> There's no such thing as race.
it's a man-made creation. But what is not man-made, as far as man-made still, but what is not is facts. <laughs> facts. And the facts are that there were people who existed long before any Hebrew story was ever written. And when they did write the Genesis story, their concept of longevity of time, of, of measuring time was different than what archaeology has demonstrated because they didn't have the tools or the science to be able to do it in the same way that we do it. So you have a great day. Remember, you got to free yourself to be yourself because your greatness is non-negotiable. Good journey. Good vibration.